Estonia is preparing to meet the Russian army on the approach without waiting for it to reach the borders of the Republic. For this, the Ministry of Defense of the Republic plans to purchase long-range missiles and drones, said the head of the Estonian State Defense Investment Center, Magnus Waldmar Saar, in an interview with Defense One. Estonia has carefully studied the experience of the Ukrainian conflict and come to the conclusion that the enemy should be met not at the border but before it by striking with missiles and kamikaze drones, including FPV drones. In addition, the Estonian army must hold out until NATO troops arrive, i.e. act faster than the alliance's troops. This also involves purchasing weapons, including air defense systems, including manpads. We cannot continue to fight at close range with anti-tank weapons. We must go deeper to disable enemy forces before they reach the front lines. As part of our next project, Defense 2035, we will conduct exercises to look at weapons with longer range than Iris T. Saar said. As previously reported, Estonia purchased HIMARS MLRS with ATA CMS missiles from the US, capable of striking Russian territory. Now, Tallinn intends to increase the purchase of these missiles and has already requested three times more ATA CMS from the US than previously ordered, as well as an increase in the supply of GMLRS missiles. Estonia is seriously preparing for war with Russia. Many Estonians fear their eastern neighbor, Russia. A recent poll commissioned by the Estonian Defense Ministry found that nearly 40% of the country's residents believe a large-scale Russian military invasion of Estonia is likely up 10 percentage points from last year. However, according to the same survey, 60% of respondents are ready to defend their homeland. Estonia, with a population of 1.3 million, has only 6,500 professional soldiers, so it relies heavily on reservists and volunteers, such as members of the Estonian Defence League. The Estonian Rescue Board, the state agency responsible for civil defence, and the Estonian Defence League, a volunteer paramilitary force, were preparing for the largest exercise of its kind to date. It's not hard to see why Tallinn has increased the number of such events. It's no secret where we live. We are not alone in the Baltic region says Lieutenant Colonel Raoul Kut, commander of the southern unit of the Kaitselit. The same applies to Latvia and Lithuania, and we don't know how the Ukrainian conflict will end. Could it spread further? To be prepared for the worst-case scenario, we still have time to conduct such exercises. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin announced the allocation of a $400 million military aid package to Ukraine on Monday during a visit to Kiev. The package will provide your forces with additional munitions, armored vehicles, and anti-tank weapons, Austin said at a meeting alongside Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. The visit comes hours after a Russian drone attack on the Ukrainian capital and as Zelensky pushes Western partners to keep providing military support for the war. Ukraine is having difficulty holding back a ferocious Russian campaign along the Eastern Front that is gradually compelling Kiev's forces to give up a series of towns, villages and hamlets. Zelensky is urging Western allies to support his so-called victory plan to end the almost three-year war which is Europe's biggest since World War II and has cost tens of thousands of lives on both sides, including many civilians. His strategy includes a formal invitation for Ukraine to join NATO and permission to use Western long-range missiles to strike military targets in Russia, steps that Kiev's allies have previously balked at supporting. The Western response has been lukewarm, and Austin was expected to discuss the plan with Ukrainian officials in Kiev. According to our uh, last dialogue, I think very positive dialogue with the President Biden by phone. We discussed a lot of things and uh, by the way, thanks for the last package supporting our uh, soldiers and uh, and we discussed a lot of important things about victory plan, about preparing for winter, so some details which will be, I think, uh, sorry. Out of We've moved heaven and earth to help Ukraine, and that inspiring coalition of more than 50 allies and partners continues to stand united 
to provide your country with the ass security assistance that Ukraine needs to prevail. Under President Biden's leadership, the United States remains committed to keeping up this support. And so I'm pleased to announce today the commitment of a $400 million presidential drawdown package to provide your forces with additional munitions, armored vehicles, and anti-tank weapons. 